Guys, I've got the Punks Custom 3D Carbon Chassis Kit for the Capra. This is the Stage Dive. Guys, we're going to get to the table, get this put on to this. Let's go. Here we have the chassis, three millimeter thick carbon, direct bolt in, everything from that goes right into this. Got your skid right here and notice how that's angled. That's angled to keep the transmission flat. I love that feature. We got sliders on here as well. Got your chassis uh, spreaders, your pieces that go in between the chassis, along with that little piece right there. That way you can keep your micro servo in there so you can keep your dig. Yeah, so time to start tearing this thing apart. <laughs> Let's do it. And here we are, everything is out. Now, obviously a new skid, the transmission gonna bolt onto the new skid and all that. This has a old 2300 KV axe. This is like V1 or something like that. Uh, I think it does have the updated ESC, but it's not like the current. That's, that uh, plug is really big as, composed, as compared to the newer ones, but the R2 systems. But this is a short can. This is actual 540 size right here. So it actually fit. And the thing is, I don't believe you can even buy these anymore. Maybe you can somewhere, but regardless, I'm going to leave this in because one of the things I want this vehicle to do, I want it to be able to kind of jump and bash around a little bit. All my other crawlers are, you know, crawl, crawl, crawl. This one, I want to be able to move. And yes, we're keeping the dig. And that's a old, old 99 micro servo there. All right, so go ahead and pull the transmission off, get the links loose, and well, continue on. That was once a Capra. <laughs> oh boy. All right, I guess it's time to uh, start getting busy with these frame rails. Let's check out the skid. Now the front is here, the back is here. The back uses two screws that come into there before you put it into the frame rail. The front uses one right there, go all the way across there for the front. And then, you know, each individual screw for the back. So those have to go in before you put this into the frame rail. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done. It's possible there may have been a bag in here with the proper bolts that I have misplaced. But regardless of all that, I always keep a set of bolts on hand. And I'm using the 30 millimeter long screws, one each side for that, and right through here for the front. There we have that. Went in nice. All right, now this cannot go into the chassis. So I ended up putting one bolt back here and one bolt on the other side. These sliders actually have a recess and that recess allows this stuff to go, well, there we go like this. It allows that bolt to fit in there to, allow, to make it easier to keep everything together. So that's kind of a nice deal. Sometimes fumbling with two chassis rails and all that, trying to get all that aligned could be a pain, but that made it actually kind of easy. Went together pretty nicely. On the second one, I kind of opened up the holes, the uh, bolt holes. That way I was able to put it back together, put it together a little bit easier. The threads kind of caught on the first one, but that's not a problem at all. It's coming together really nice. Get all this laid out here, just like that. For the next part, I'm gonna bolt this in off camera. Just get it done. 
Now this is set up to put all the electronics on the side. Now this does give a nice low center of gravity. I tend to put things between the frame rails. However, you know what? This is the way it's designed to go. So that's the way we're going to do it. And this side over here has a little bit of a slot cut into this thing. So basically you can put your Velcro over here to hold your little baby competition battery in place. And that's perfect for me. All right, moving right along. I guess next up, I'm gonna go ahead and put the front end on. That is a strong servo, guys. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna get that put on and go ahead and get the rear put on. And we'll look at the shocks. So pretty much this is it. I mean, I've got a couple more of the uh, chassis braces, cross members. Obviously want to go out here, want to go up here, put it together, figured, you know what? Those would be good for the shocks and all that help keep some of the twist out of it. Need some longer bolts up front and the rears aren't exactly pulled all the way down. I kind of ran out of threads. I can probably add a little bit with my tap, so no problem there. But the way I've got this set up is the front under full compression is all the way up against the axle housing. And the rear is the same. And when I get down to here, I realize I'm low on oil. <laughs> so what I may end up doing when I do the uh, oil on these shocks, I may actually flip them over. This way, when you're at full compression down here, you'll have your oil. I got a little ahead of myself on the dig servo, but that's how it mounts in there, right there. And I've got it set up, two bolts on the back side. You can see right there, one comes in the other way so it doesn't interfere with the link. So that's pretty much that. And as you can see, it is powered up. Of course, it's a complete wiring disaster. That's kind of what I'm always good for, right? But anyway, there's a battery set in place and all that. I've got a game plan, something I might do with this, as in like 100%. I've got a Fusion Pro 2300 KV right here. That'll do a lot of cleanup in there. Everything is set up, and these are really good setups right here, for real. So, yeah, more than likely that will go, and it absolutely will fit. So that's an awesome thing. However, let's go ahead and give this thing a drive. <laughs> uh, the 900 servo. Phenomenal. Um, yeah. So this is working out really good. Not sure what I'm going to use for a body, though. I got an idea that might make it look a little bit like a Capra, but we'll have to see. But that is where it is, and probably going to do an another video since this one took so long. But uh, get it out and take it for a drive. I'll probably just stick a body on it or something. Not too worried about body posts or any of that stuff yet soon oh also flip through our shocks haha <laughs> well guys there's the stage dive this is a creep body i can get the bottom i can get the back down more by cutting the bed out and letting it drop down so it's a real lcg chassis really nice or i can set that up to the side there and the pro line body which also fits really good um, not sure what I'm going to go with for a body though. I'm kind of wanting to try, that's pro line body. I'm kind of wanting to try to cut the cage down. But the thing about having a cage up there, that's going to add a lot of top weight to it. So if I do that, then it kind of takes away from the competition ability of this, of the, uh, chassis, the design and all that. But I kind of want to try this. So I might give that a try, but regardless, uh, the chassis went together really nice. I mean, really nice. 
the uh, dig unit, the dig servo. I did have to figure that out. Hopefully, I was able to show that. I get a little bit ahead of myself on that one, but overall, I'm looking forward to driving this thing. I'm probably just going to take like this body right here and just kind of like bungee it on or something, you know, just to get that first drive in because you don't want to actually land on the internals. You don't want to land on that stuff. Now, as far as the uh, 2300 KV uh, Fusion Pro, that's that's going in. I got to clean this chassis up, get that stuff cleared up, um, which I think will be nice. But anyway, guys, hopefully you like the video. I will link the chassis and all that stuff up down below. Got a few parts and pieces in here. I'll see if I can find those. So make sure you check that description, guys. A hey, main eBay, Amazon, and Horizon. There are affiliate links. Use those links to help support the channel, guys. Check that description, use the links, hit that subscribe, ring that bell. You're awesome. Thank you all for watching. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also for channel memberships, if you guys wanna be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can, so. Guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.